Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Ask the Beard Baron. That's me, episode 35, well into our 30s. I'm well into my 30s, almost into my 40s. Did everyone know that? So if you've got a question, be sure to leave your comment down below. All my social media links are down below. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. You know where to find me, Instagram, YouTube. You can email me on thebeardbaron.com, but for right now, let's get into it. Also, how are we not talking about the fact that it is Movember right now? We're just about a week into it. I'm excited, this is just a fantastic year for all beardsmen, mustache wearers, mustache men. Do people even call them mustache men? I don't know, it's a good question. But yeah, Movember's here guys, I'm excited. As always, we're here to support you through this time. Go through the YouTube channel, with all the tips and tricks of how to maintain a beard, especially if you're growing from scratch, meaning a fully shaven face, there's no better way to go with the Beard Baron. All your beard care supplies at thebeardbaron.com. But like I said, let's get into these questions. Big Red Grumbo from YouTube writes, do you know anything about heated beard brushes? Do they work? Could they damage the hair, etc." Big Red Grumbo, I do know about heated brushes and I am not a fan of them. I know a lot of guys use them, get great results from them, but the second half of your question is what is it's all about. And they do pose a risk of damaging your beard and your individual beard hairs, uh, cracking, frying, uh, they're not gonna like light on fire, so I know some guys get concerned that if they use a heat, heated beard brush or they put a, a hair dryer to their beard, it's gonna engulf them in some sort of flames. Uh, that would be absolutely terrifying, so, but it's no worry there. You're just gonna deal with split ends, accelerated breakage. Uh, you can try to apply as much beard balm, butters, oils, waxes, and washes to it. Uh, your mileage may vary of the effectiveness of that. So I just stay away from it completely. I trim my beard to shape so it gives us this look of kind of straight down, where I know some guys do prefer the really straight beard, really straight hairs, they want that real, that really crisp, clean look. You can try it out, but for me personally, I do not use them. I stay away from heat altogether. No heated brushes, no blow dryers, no torches, butane, gasoline, oil lamps, lighters, barbecues, fire pits, meteors, the sun, lava, Mordor. I don't deal with any of it. I don't deal with anything. Jonathan Giannino, I, I just went into immediately my Italian Sicilian roots of, uh, of trying to <laughs> enunciate. Jonathan Giannino from YouTube writes, have you ever used the beard wash as just a face wash? It seems like the ingredients in the wash work well for that as well. Well, Jonathan, this is a great question because the premium beard wash we carry at thebeardbaron.com is formulated for your face and beard, which means it is great for your actual skin. This is why I tell guys do not use shampoo that's intended for your scalp on your face to wash your beard because that is not formulated for your actual face skin. There's a big difference between the skin on your face and the skin on your scalp. The scalp is much more resilient, the face is much more sensitive. So yes, you can use the Beard Baron Premium Beard Wash on your face with great results in addition to washing your beard. Salty McCreamer. Hmm. Salty McCreamer. From YouTube, any particular reason why you like the super long stash over your lips? Well, Salty McCreamer. I believe you're referring to this. Well, Salty, for me personally, it's just a matter of personal preference and style that I like for myself. As guys will go through the whole life growing beards, mustaches, you'll probably experiment with different lengths, shapes, sizes, features, uh, just to try and challenge yourself and see what your beard mustache will do. I've been wearing the no lip look for almost seven years now. I really like it. It just kind of fits with how I like to go about things. Uh, if you guys remember years and years ago, there was a, a, a beard model in the UK, uh, Ricky Hall. Huge inspiration for me, a beard inspiration early on. He had the no lip look. I loved it. I wanted to see if I could try it out. Uh, and I was able to actually cover my lips. Uh, for some guys, you won't be able to cover as much ground with it. Some have thinner mustaches than others. Mine just kind of barely does it, uh, but I've always appreciated it. But then again, I tell guys, uh, mustache over the lips does have its own issues, especially when you're first growing it out. Uh, it is an obstacle, it feels strange on your lips, uh, your mouth with hairs getting in it. Uh, eating and drinking is a whole different beast altogether, uh, which poses its own problems and frustrations, but I've gotten so used to it that I never even think about it anymore on the rare occasion where I'm eating something that's really uh, messy, like sour cream. But if I go out and, I mean, the Queen of England could be sitting down in the, in the next booth over, and if I'm going to town on some fish tacos, all bets are off. But that's just me. So everyone's got their own thing, own style. Explore, you know, try different things out. You might be surprised at what you actually liked. When I was a kid, I never thought I'd grow up and have a beard with a no lip look mustache. So it's kind of that simple. Guys, as always, it's great getting on here with Ask the Beard Bear. I love answering your questions. I love this community. Drop me a question down below, a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Isn't it, they still have that bell on YouTube where you hit it, you're notified. Hit that thing. 
And then definitely check me out on Instagram, Facebook, reach out, say, hey, hello, what's up? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. But until then, take care.